I thought I'd better do a flotation check. Make sure it can take all the weight. So I've got a 2S LiPo battery there. The ESC, the receiver, the servo just sitting in there. And we seem to be okay. I will add some foam in there to stop it sinking if it goes nose under. But it looks like we can get all that weight in there anyway. doing here is carving some foam to fit either side of the hull. That's my insurance so that worst case scenario it won't actually sink. So I'm just trimming this bit of foam until it fits in nicely. The um, decking or whatever we want to call this bit, I've hit it with a blowtorch to soften the plastic and then flattened it a bit so it doesn't stick in quite so much so we've got room for the motor to sit in there. But it does mean I've still got to cut quite a bit of this foam out the way that I'm putting in. And then I'll do the same on that side and then we'll fit the ESC in there somewhere and the receiver. I don't suppose for one minute this receiver is waterproof. The ESC is supposed to be waterproof although somebody did comment on the video I did when I bought that that it wasn't even though it said it was. So I might put some nail varnish over the stuff that we can see. And I'm not going to peel it apart and try and fill it inside. don't know whether to try and... Yeah, I might, I might take the receiver apart as well. It's got four screws on the bottom. And then paint some nail varnish over it to do at least a basic level of waterproofing. We need to put that in there as well, obviously. Servo. And that's going to have to fit quite low down. We haven't got a lot of space there. Worst case, I'll just cut all of that right out. Just run a saw blade across it. I'll think about that. I'd like to leave it in there if I can. It, it looks slightly more realistic with seats in there. Well, it came out eventually. It was just a bit of sticky in there, holding it in place. So I guess I can just try a bit of nail varnish over it and hope that will improve its chances of surviving a swim.
Well, it's all jammed in there. It got a bit tight at the end. I actually had to cut some of the decking out so we could get the servo in place. So, we've only got uh, about an inch and a half of water in there. I forgot I've got reverse on this one. But it can't actually do reverse unless the back end is in the water and it's not in the water because it has trouble sucking water backwards. <laughs> I think we might have to try this somewhere else and in the bath. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. I'll switch. So, there we are. It's all a bit of a tight fit, but it's in there. 2S Slipo. Uh, ESC, jet unit, receiver, servo, and that red marker pen I use is water soluble, so it's getting red everywhere. So we'll have to go and try it.